is our Apostles Corner. I am Apostle Jenny Vanover. The garden that God loves, His body, is one that sees through the eyes of the Holy Spirit. One that moves by the breath of God. One that moves by the wind of God. One that sees by the fire of God. And every apostle can see what his garden is supposed to be. Good morning and welcome to the Apostles Corner. This is Revival for Christ Club International Ministries. I am Apostle Jenny Vanover and I'm here with my wonderful friend today, Laura Weatherall. We have the great privilege of being out here today at Bob Moore Farms. It's been an absolute joy to be with these beautiful creations. Hello. <laughs> All right, so I just want to greet everybody with Psalms 23 in verse 4 and the word of God says even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil because you are with me and I want to encourage somebody today to remember that no matter what you're facing in your life and you feel like evil is riding right up against you <laughs> I love it I love it <laughs> the God is always by your side. He's always leading you. He's your great provider. He's the strong rock. He's the strong tower. And he is the one that we have the best relationship with. All right. So that brings me right up to where we're at, Lauren. And I want you to share the story of how you came to Oklahoma, what happened when you came to Oklahoma, and a little bit about Calvin. Well, the Lord had woke Calvin up one morning and he had a dream that night and he, when he got up um, he woke up and I remember him sitting alongside the bed and he said the Lord gave me a dream last night babe and I'm giving my two week notice and I'm moving to Oklahoma and I was like wow. what? <laughs> just like that just like that wow you know you have to understand Calvin is a man um, that when he hears the voice of the Lord and the Lord mm -hmm. gives him instructions mm -hmm. he acts on that immediately Perfect one to be with you. <laughs> exactly. So the only problem was is that he left and went to Oklahoma and left me behind. So we had to kind of work through some things with that. But the Lord really taught us both um, some things during that journey. And so one of the things that he taught us was, or taught me, I was deathly scared of storms. Mm -hmm. And as... I first met Calvin. She's like nipping at me. When I first met Calvin, um, he grew up in uh, in Arkansas, and so he was used to the tornadoes and the storms and stuff. And I was not, because you're from California. Yes, ma'am. And Oklahoma is known for tornadoes. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and so is Arkansas. And so living in a single wide mobile home trailer is not the safest place to be. Right. In the middle of storms, and so. He used to laugh at me because he would sleep during the storms and I would have all my rain gear and my rain jacket on and I had the leashes for my dogs and everything all ready to go just in case storms would come. And he would wake up and just look at me and just laugh and shake his head and he would just tell me, he says, the Lord hasn't told me to do anything. He says, we're okay. And so I can remember telling him, you better not be missing the Lord then. <laughs> and so he would just go back to sleep. And so on this journey is he moved on out here and the Lord really was teaching me how to trust him mm -hmm. and how to grow closer to him and not just rely on so much on my husband hearing from the Lord. And so as I can remember a night where I called him when we were talking and got off the phone with him. And as soon as I got off the phone with him, a storm hit and I was petrified. So he's already in Oklahoma. He was in Oklahoma and already. And a storm hit. Yes. Wow. And so I immediately picked up the phone to call my husband just for some comfort. And I didn't know what I thought he was going to do Why he's in Oklahoma and I'm in Arkansas. But he didn't answer the phone. And so I was a little upset with him. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, what's he doing? I need him right now. And he's not answering the phone. And so I was pacing and I get this text message on that came across on my phone and it was from a friend who actually lived here in Oklahoma and she said read Psalms 91 
And I was like, why do I need to read Psalms 91 right now? I'm yeah. in the middle of this crisis yeah. and this storm. And so I heard the Lord and he said, read Psalms 91. And so I open up my Bible and I start reading. And I was just like, this isn't helping me here in this storm. And the Lord says, keep reading. And so I, prior to that, I had not ever been able to sleep during a storm. I was up all night long, as long as it stormed. And so once I read Psalms 91, Jenny, I was able to lay my head down and trust the Lord. And I slept for the first time all night long during a storm. Don't you just love nature? <laughs> hey. <laughs> I do. Amen. <laughs> So the Lord was just teaching me to, to rely on Him and to rely on His Word and to trust in Him and to know that He's got me. Amen. Even though my husband yeah. was somewhere else, yeah. that I needed to learn that the Lord still had yeah. me and yeah. to trust Him. Like God took you through that. Yes, That's amazing. And so now the storms don't bother me. So now after that, when did you come to Oklahoma? So it, Calvin had been here for about three months before I made the journey out here. So that was um, about April of 2015. Okay. And so how long, so now did you live consistently, both of you, since 2015 here? Yes. Okay. Awesome. Yes. All right. So let me ask you, what is your favorite scripture in the Bible? Oh, goodness. You know, I would probably really have to say that Psalms 91 really has become one of my most favorite ones. I love that. Because it just has brought me so much comfort. I, oh, I love that. Uh, so, you know, when, I, when I, was, I was sharing with somebody how when the Lord uniquely puts people together, um, He does it where they balance each other out, and they both have similar spiritual goals, mm -hmm. and what I love from what I've, I've learned about you and Calvin is how you both take hearing God a priority in your life yes. and the obedience of following that voice and you know Laura I'm just really looking forward to seeing as Toby as Apostle Toby always says what we're going to be when we grow up and um, I just can't wait to see you know what God has planned for you and Calvin yeah. and how that's going to develop because like I said I know the passion for both of you and that I see in both of you is the importance of obeying his voice yes and uh, I think that's awesome Thank you. well all right so uh, it's been great being with you guys today and it's been awesome with my wonderful friend Laura today and um, as we close out today Laura I was wondering if you would just uh, close out in prayer and maybe say a, a prayer for anybody who's facing anything fearful today absolutely so Heavenly Father we just thank you and we praise you for this time that we've had together I thank you Lord God that is you have just taught me Father God to trust your voice and to just lean on your word and to be able to lean on your word I would encourage anybody out there that is facing a difficult situation that there is a word for you from the Lord and that is to just seek his face and to trust him and I know that he will never leave you nor forsake you and I just I thank the Lord that we have that assurance in him and so we just thank you and we praise you and we give you all the glory in the name of Jesus Amen <laughs> and you too little ones you too clean up my hair thank you all so much. Uh, we want to thank Bob Moore Farms and especially William today. He's been amazing and just accommodating us and um, want to thank everybody. We want to thank you and most of all we want to thank our Heavenly Father yes. and for the sacrifice and the blood of the Son, Jesus, and for the gift of the Holy Spirit. May that be your power today, relying upon the power of the Holy Spirit. Have an amazing day in God, and we just pray the best for you. God bless you guys. This is our Apostles Corner. I am Apostle Jenny Vanover. The garden that God loves, His body, is one that sees through the eyes of the Holy Spirit. One that moves by the breath of God. One that moves by the wind of God. One that sees by the fire of God. And every apostle can see.
what his garden is supposed to be.